Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So we're doing this little ghosty at the grave and it's also another glow in the dark one. So I begin by going in with my glow in the dark acrylic powder and just giving the whole display tip a coat of this. So once you're happy with that, you get your grey acrylic powder and you can come in and do the headstone. So I'm just taking a small bead and flattening it out into the shape that I need. I'm just going to try and tidy up the sides. And just play with this bead until you're happy with the shape that you've got. So for this I am using a smaller brush. Now that I'm happy with that I'm going to come in and do some dirt from so using a brown acrylic and just patting it on. And this doesn't have to be smooth. If it's got wee lumps and bumps in it, then it'll look a bit better. So just continue with the brown acrylic until you've covered the base of this tip. So I'm now going to come in with some black gel and just write on R.I.P. on the headstone. So I'm using a fine liner brush to do this. And once I've done that, I'll pop it in the lamp to cure. I also put a couple of little thin lines on to make it look like there's a couple of cracks in the headstone. So I'm going to go in with my white acrylic now and do the ghost. So I'm wanting the ghost to look like it's holding onto the headstone. So I'm just using small beads of white acrylic and sculpt it into the shape that I require. So 
I'm going to do them so it's like he's peeking over from the back of the headstone. I'm just working my way around the side of this um, to make it look like the, the rest of his body and then I'll bring it out into kind of like a point. I'm just going to add another little bit of acrylic and make it into a, like a more of a point just to make it look like the ghost is like sort of floating in the background. So I'm, I'm going to come in with another small bit of acrylic and make his little hand. So I'm using a smaller brush to do this and I'm just going to press in some indents to make it look like his little fingers. And this is just adding on a little bit more body and I'm going to put another hand here as well just hold it on to the top of the headstone. So again just coming in and pressing in some indents for these little fingers. I'm just going to add on another piece to the top of his head and bring it out into like a point so that it's like folded over. So now I'm happy with the shape of my ghost, so I'm just going to come in with my black gel again and just add on his smile and his eyes and then I'll pop it back in the lamp to cure. So now that that's cured I'm going to come in with some clear acrylic and I'm just going to add on a couple of glitter stars for the night sky. So once I'm happy with the position of my stars, I'm just going to give it a couple of minutes just to set a little so that when I come in and encapsulate it doesn't move the stars all over the place. So now I'm going to encapsulate and I'm just using a wet bead of clear acrylic and gently pat it on. I don't want to pull it too much that it causes air bubbles. So just gent gently bringing it down the nail. A rogue piece of fluff here. So 
just do this until you've covered the whole of the display tip. So once this is all set, you will go in with your file and then your buffer to smooth it out and then go in with your top coat. So just top coat in and then I will check to make sure that it glows in the dark properly. Um, thank you very much for watching this video guys, I hope you liked it, it's just a nice easy design to do. Thanks for watching guys, bye!